Happy birthday to you. We're going diamond mining. Hopefully she'll pull out a 10 carat diamond. <laughs> behind me and I was like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Braids. In today's episode, what are we gonna see, baby? We are going to see Rylan and Dad, they went diamond mining in Arkansas, so that was an adventure. That's part of Rylan's birthday. Mm -hmm. And then my dance team actually went to nationals, and so we vlogged the whole time we were there. So that was really fun, so we, we have yes. video footage of that too, and... We started the pool in the new yard, and mm -hmm. last but not least, you're gonna watch Bailey get pulled over for the first time. It wasn't that bad, but it was shameful for sure, and I hope it never happens again. <laughs> Probably mostly my fault, don't you think? A little bit of both, but yeah. We'll tell you the story. Be sure to check out Brooklyn and Bailey's new video by clicking right there, and let's get going. We are headed off to Majestic, or I guess we're already Majestic. We're heading off to National. Yes, But before not we me. go, we're going to the zoo. This is the bus, so the Mo Majestic moms decorated the bus. You can see it says, yeah. good, good luck, luck Majestic. Thursday and we got to miss school for Thursday so and come Friday. To the zoo. So come, come to the zoo for Majestic because we're going to Nationals. So we're at the zoo. So it's lunchtime. <laughs> and Alyssa <laughs> just brought the news to us. <laughs> she just blew everyone's mind. <laughs> Your normal ketchup cup. I thought that you just simply dip and <laughs> chew. <laughs> but no. You pull it apart so that it lays flat. Such as this, <laughs> so that you can easier dip and chew. Hey guys, so it's competition day number one, and the first thing that we have is soloists. So we have three girls on our team that are performing, including Alyssa. So we're about to go cheer her on. We're really excited. And then after that, to dance our modern dance at two. 2 p.m. and then we have officers at 5 and then tomorrow is like the, our busiest day where we so, dance like our other two dances and everybody has like the trio. Yes. So today's pretty chill but tomorrow's gonna be the crazy one. It's day two of the competition and we're heading over to the convention center to do our last two dances. One is at like 8 o'clock in the morning and one is at Four in the afternoon. And then we have a bunch of other scattered dances in between, like for our team. We had to part our hair on the right side, which is tragic. We look like bully balls. Like, it's so where did my sad. hair go? I'm not sure. <laughs> so we just finished, well, we changed after performing our hip hop dance. But like right which before was, we went I out, thought we, did so we like awesome. pumped ourselves up and it was we were so hot. We it so felt sweet. so good. We all ran off like, <gasps> like dying, but it was like a good kind of dying. And we felt fantastic about it, so yeah. we just finished performing that. Hopefully we win. Hopefully. We just watched the officers perform, and now it took forever because we're in a city full of dance teams. But we're eating at Nestle. But we found a place to eat, and so we're all chilling. And our grandparents from Arizona here to visit. Hi. Thank you. Hey, say hi. What? Baby, just never behind you. Oh yeah, we're at Nestle's Toll House. Did you know they make actual food here? Because they actually make real food here. Say hi, Mom. Hi. Hi. And then Alyssa, she's dead. <laughs> We're tired, hold on. We just got home from competition. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> right now. Um, I came home, I don't know if you guys know this, but I celebrated my one month anniversary with Asa. Um, and this Saturday, the end of competition, and I came home to this on my bed. I don't know if you guys know, but we don't live in the same state, but he got me gifts and I haven't opened them yet, but somehow he managed to get me flowers. I don't know how he managed to do that, but they're so pretty. Okay guys, so I opened it and there was a card, which is really nice. There's this, which is inside the package which is so cute. And the bottom date is the day that we started dating. Nationals was so much fun. Our team got third in hip hop, which is really good because hip hop is crazy competitive. We got first, which means we were national champions in our jazz, well, it was novelty. And then um, our third piece didn't place, but we were really happy with 
our scores and we were really happy with what happened. A lot of our officer pieces got a really, really good scores. So all together it was a really successful trip, but now we're exhausted and we are ready to go to bed. This is what it sounds like and looks like when tornado sirens go off. Technically this isn't tornadoes though tonight, it's right hail right now because they're predicting this storm that's about to blow through here can produce baseball sized hail. You can see right now it's not even raining, which is we are so classic of Texas. It all comes The in puppies have their clothes out, they're scared. It's like there's a intergalactic war out there in space. Look at that. Okay, looks like the hail is starting now. Not very big, but just over at our old house. Our neighbors are telling us that it was about the size of grapes. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like about the size of a, like a blueberry. Blueberry size hail. Brady, inside, come on. Yeah, you're gonna get zapped, buddy. Stay out of there. Good morning, guess where we are? What are we doing today? We are in Arkansas and we are going diamond mining. We're going diamond mining in an open crater mine. It's yep. a state park, like $10 you can go in and yeah. sift for diamonds. Last week, there was a kid that found, about 13 years old, that found a seven and a half carat diamond just laying on the ground, so. Just laying there. Yeah, so Ryan and I decided we were gonna come up to Arkansas and have a couple days together and, and hopefully she'll pull out a 10 carat diamond. <laughs> right, Mindy? I'll be that kid. <laughs> all right, Rylan, what are you doing? Cleaning out all the mud in my rock. Trying to classify down to the what? To all the uh, to the, the quartz. The quartz and yeah, the sand. The diamonds. <laughs> the diamonds are the heaviest thing in there, right? Yeah. So they sink to the bottom. But they only find like on average three quarters of a diamond or almost one diamond a day here. And look how many people are here. Those fields are full of people. So it's seeming like our chances may not be that good, but it's fun, right? Yes, it is fun. Ready? If there's ever going to be a diamond, a diamond, it's going to be right in the middle of this. That is right in there. That's all quartz. All quartz. It's the heaviest stuff in the gravel. And diamonds are heavier than quartz, so there could be di baby diamond in there somewhere. <laughs> okay, Rylan, so recap on yesterday's diamond adventure. What do you think? Uh, we did good, but I don't think you got any diamonds. You didn't, <laughs> I found a diamond. What are you talking about? I found a diamond. You don't believe me? I found a diamond right here. Oh this my is gosh. my diamond right here. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun though, didn't we? Yeah. We'll have to come back because now we know a little bit more about yes. what we're now looking we know for. What we have to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where did they? This is Debbie Grandma and Grandpa Bill over here. There they are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi. They're the ones that took us on this adventure, huh? Yeah. Lots of fun. <laughs> it's my birthday, and we're eating dinner. And Grayson's here. Grayson. And we're trying to teach her how to crack a peanut on your forehead. So you are gonna ready. Three, two, one. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> there we go. Is it? Is it cracked? Yeah, right there. Okay, let's see Grayson's. Okay. <laughs> I got it! Hey! Check the drum now. Yeehaw! Ready? One, two, three! Yeehaw! Yeah. 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 Happy birthday! Good luck. <laughs> yeah. no, she's 12. How old is she? She's 12. How do you know? That's because yesterday she was 11. Yeah, and we found out today who she's crushing on, but we're not telling anybody. Right? <laughs> we're not telling anybody. Right, Mindy? We're not telling anybody. We're not telling anybody. We're not telling anybody. Camry, we're not telling you. I don't even know. Okay, for the birthday girl? Yeah. We had cake at Texas Roadhouse. 
Uh, she's already had her sweets for the day. Yeah. Well, it looks good. Good pick. Ooh, those are so cute. I'm so jealous. Well, now I actually have sandals. Guess whose closet they're gonna be in in the next week. <laughs> The decorations are done by Jenny. <gasps> mm, that's a valuable item right there. Oh, that's a valuable item right there. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Are you happy? Look at the load of clothes she got. Today is family photos. I got my soccer jersey. Hey, hey. It's really big though. And we are in prep mode. We got Ryland's hair curled finally. She's in her outfit. Camry's in her attire. We've used all of those materials so far. Brooklyn oh, and Bailey are still the, MIA. You mean the hair? And we're off to get Dax and Pays. Done with first family sitting. Biggest problems we're facing so far are Paisley and She's the not wind. not a problem. She's just not as agreeable as the other kids. And, and the wind, which keeps blowing our hair every direction except where it's supposed to be. Yeah, you see that? That's my skirt because I'm wearing a tutu. It's been a while since I've been wearing a tutu. And we have now loaded up three different vehicles and are on our way to the next stop. Let's go. We're setting up a shot. We got the Jordan Marshall photography crew, including Miss Hallikins. That's right. Just call her the queen. Give me a cool pose. Ooh, ooh work it, dance. Okay. Okay, girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I like. Okay, we got the doctor here. Oh my gosh. And nature. Okay, how did you get on the cactus? I did a car did this wheel happen? for a picture. <laughs> oh, that's when it happened? Yeah. So we woke up this morning to the sounds of in the background. And what is happening, Daxton? Our pool is started. Yay! We have been waiting for this Mom. for like over, I don't know what, like Mommy. Mommy, can I not probably a month, please? but we ran into some problems with our septic tank and city Mom. permits and blah, 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 and so we definitely have gotten a later start than we wanted, but oh. it's finally here and we're really hoping this cruises right through so we have a pool for this summer because you know, yo, it's hot in Texas. Oh.
They gave the cement over. Okay, bye. You bye. have to give it back to them. Bye. Bye. So today they're shooting the gunite in the pool. You can see gunite's like a cement that kind of becomes like the hard shell underground there in the pool. It'll take them probably till this afternoon to finish that. And then it sits for about a week and a half where we have to spray water on it twice a day to make sure that it cures. That's the hot tub right there. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what happened really fast. Oh, we'll start over. The light just fell down. The light ah. just fell down. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the story on how and why Bailey got pulled over. And I actually think it's kind of my fault, so I'm gonna own this one even though she got pulled over. Because we were on our way to go see Beauty and the Beast as a huge group, and, and so we, we were driving two cars. Well, we had just gotten back from Africa, yes. and then like that night was Beauty and the Beast, and we were all super excited, so we were rushing and getting ready and stuff, and I had a bunch of kids in my car because I was taking them to the theater, yes. and I was so, following her. Uh, she was following me, and I drove, and in, there's this one stop sign in our neighborhood. I always just sort of do a look and glance and then buzz through because there's nobody ever there. So I did a look and glance and buzzed through and then realized halfway through there was a police officer sitting up the hill and that he was probably going to pull me over. But then no cop ever showed up. So I was driving and the cop came up behind me and I was like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? So I pulled over and I was like, what did I do? Oh no. And he comes up and he's like, were you aware that you didn't come to complete, complete stop, stop at the stop sign? And I was like, I thought I had come to complete stop. But I didn't say that. I was just thinking in my mind. I was like, I, I think I she probably did a rolling stop, but because I had cruised through the stop, it was like he was on high alert for people not stopping at that point. So yes. then he tagged her instead of me. But we yes. got a text saying that they'd been pulled over, so we doubled back and came back and what? And mom talked to me. I will. She helped talk me out of the ticket. No, I talked to you. She, out of the she ticket. talked the cop out of the ticket. <laughs> really, I didn't do anything horribly wrong. But in case you guys are wondering, if you're stopping at a stop sign, you have to stop for three seconds. Otherwise, it's not considered a complete stop. I didn't remember that from driver's ed. Yeah. I didn't know if lots of people remember that, but that's a good thing to yes. remember when you start driving. But needless to say, I still got us to the movie on time because the police officer was nice, gave her a warning, mm -hmm. and. It all it happens out. to the best of us. That's so, right. the end. Hopefully, never again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed all of that footage. And if you are subscribed to this channel, definitely subscribe by clicking the button right over there. And to check out our music video, click over here, this box right here. It was a ton of work. Yes. And you guys worked so hard on it. So, be sure to go give it some love. Mm -hmm. And we will see you guys next week. Bye, Bye guys. Mwah.